Yo, it's your boy Marita, boy. I'm back up in this thing, man. And listen, man, let me tell you something. This case right here, um, it's been going on for about a week or so. I saw this case. I kind of didn't want to report on this case due to it just it just I just I just had an emotional response to this whole situation, man. And it's the um shooting death of Officer Ariana Preston. Um she was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful African American woman um, who was a Chicago uh, police officer, um, and she was brutally gunned down outside her home uh, after leaving a tour of duty one evening. And um, they have made arrests in this case. And that is why I'm reporting on it now. But I was already going to report on it. But I'm telling you, it just made me feel so sad for this young woman. And I kind of, I kind of didn't want to make this video, man. It just, it just, it just had an, I just had an emotional re reaction to the heinousness of this crime done to this beautiful African American sister who was a career, a, a police officer, man, and the brutality of it. You know, but I'm going to play this um, um, clip from the Chicago Police Department actually explaining the apprehension of the um, suspects. And then I'm going to give you the backstory on it. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. We're here today to announce charges in the tragic murder of our fallen hero, Officer Ariana Preston. He was a beloved daughter, sister and friend who wanted to make a difference in this world. Those who knew her would tell you that that's exactly what she did. He wanted to help create a better future for Chicago, but the incomprehensible actions of four offenders took that future from her and the loss of the city is tremendous. Trevor Breland, age 19, Joseph Brooks, also age 19, Jaquan Buchanan, age 18, and a 16 year old juvenile who will all be charged, who will also be charged as an adult, have all um, been charged with first degree murder for the killing of Ariana Preston, who is just 24 years old. The offenders will also be charged with multiple counts, including armed robbery, arson, burglary, possession of a stolen motor vehicle, and unlawful use of a weapon. These individuals were out looking for victims in the overnight hours of Friday into Saturday morning and are connected to multiple robberies and a motor vehicle theft earlier that morning leading up to the murder of Officer Preston. As Officer Preston was returning home from her tour of duty, early Saturday morning, four offenders pulled up in a stolen vehicle. The offenders quickly exited the vehicle and ran towards Officer Preston while armed. An offender fired at Officer Preston, who returned fire. The offenders continued to shoot Officer Preston, and an offender stole Officer Preston's weapon before all offenders fled the scene in a stolen vehicle. An officer from the 4th District was responding to a call of a traffic crash when he discovered Officer Preston. This officer immediately rendered aid and drove Officer Preston to the hospital where she was pronounced. I'd like to take this time to ask that everyone keeps this officer and all the responding officers that day in your prayers as they process the trauma that they experienced. I want to thank the community for its help in bringing closure to and justice to Ariana. And thanks to our detectives from area two. So let me give you the backstory on that, man. My, I want to say uh, right now, my condolences go to Miss Preston's family. You know what I'm saying? My heart goes out to her family, her friends, the community. I mean, I, I really didn't even want to make this video, be honest with you. But, you know, I need to bring some awareness to some of this stuff. You know, I, 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 I like to try to tell our young folks to stay out of jail, man. And this is a you know, hopefully a learning and a teaching moment for somebody out here watching this video who's going to see this video. Maybe some trouble youth or somebody's about to make a wrong decision. This is for you guys. So listen, let me get a backstory on this. You, the backstory is even more sad. So what allegedly happened was it was four, those four individuals. One of them had a girlfriend, right? And her girlfriend wanted to throw, and the girlfriend wanted to throw a barbecue, but she had no food and no uh, stuff for the barbecue. So what this dude decided to do, he decided to get with three of his friends and go on a robbing spree. Miss Ariana Preston was the last person 
they had robbed that evening. You know what I'm saying? They had already robbed a couple of people and this and that there. But they did all this for a barbecue, man. Like for a barbecue, man. Like, bro, listen, like I, I have no words, man. That's why I told y'all, man, life is not valued nowadays in these in these in this world, man. For a barbecue? Y'all went out robbing for a barbecue because they was broke. Man, we wouldn't have had no barbecue then. You don't deserve, you don't need to have no barbecue. You ain't got no money. Barbecues to celebrate something. What you celebrate being broke? Man, listen. But anyway, so when the crime went down, we all know what happened. I don't want to go back over it. But when the crime went down, um, you know, it was a lot of com uh, community outrage or whatever. So this is how they got caught, right? Family and friends went to picking them out of the video. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's Junebug. Yeah, that's that's that there. Yeah, that's that there. Yeah. So one of them even went. One of the family friends even went to as far as the calling one on the phone. Called him on the phone. Got him to talk about the whole crime on the phone. Right while the police was listening to the whole conversation. So the family and friend with the police and he coercing one of the suspects to talk about the crime. So the detectives right there like, yeah, yeah, tell us that. Tell us more. Tell us more. And the person just getting them to talk and they talking, they talking. So then they go get the cell phone, uh, the phone numbers. And when they got the phone numbers, they pinged the phone numbers and used the satellite to find out where they was at. Right. So they watching the residents, all four of them together. Right. They watching the residents. Right. Boom. One of them come out, and get in an Uber. When one of them come out, and get in an Uber, they drop. They 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 let let them go down the street a little bit, and they jump out on him, pull out on him, box the car. And, hey, get out the car. Whoop the whoop. How about when he get the, when they gaffle him about the car? He got the the murder weapon on him. The the gun that he that was used to to shoot Miss Preston. They, he got it on him. The same shells, the same gun, everything. Kate been baked, Wody. You know what I'm saying? Then they have. Then they go back to the residence. Well, you know, they stay at the residence surrounded, but uh, the guys on the inside didn't know. End up having a standoff with them. End up, you know, come out with your hands up. I have a long took. They end up getting them out of the residence. Got them out of the residence, right? When they get them out of the residence, when they take them down to the police precinct, they go to telling on each other. They go to talking. They ask them what happened to the gun that they took off Miss Preston because they took her service weapon. They say they sold that service. They say they sold it. You know what I'm saying? Then one of them went to the the, the extreme as to telling them that he was the one who shot the lady first. Like, bro, don't y'all... I, I don't know if Chicago... I don't know if Illinois got the... Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know if they got the death penalty. I think they don't. But this is just sad, man. They killed this beautiful, young, full of life woman for money for a barbecue. Bro, it don't take that much money to have a barbecue. But listen, I want y'all people out here in this world to be safe, man. Do you see what these young people out here doing? They don't give a damn about nobody's life no more, man. They don't care about their own life. And I went, listen, bro. I, I wonder was they all on the short bus or something, man. So we're going to go pull some robberies for a barbecue. I hope they put that girl in jail, too. I'm talking about the one who said she needs some money for a barbecue. I want her ass to go, too. Like, I want all of them to go. If they was in Florida, they ass be getting a lethal injection. I'm telling you, killing the police officer. I don't know where they got up there in Illinois. But I'm telling you, killing a police officer in Florida, boy, you will out of here, boy. But, man, I just want to make that video real. I want to make this video real quick, man. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm really disgusted by what happened to this young lady, man. I'm saddened. My condolences go out to her family. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to send prayers to her family. You know what I'm saying? And for these young men that did this, I have no sympathy for y'all. I do not care. Um, I hope they prosecute y'all to the fullest extent of the law. You know what I'm saying? I don't care that y'all was teenagers. I don't care. I do not care. Y'all was not supposed to be out there doing that shit that y'all was doing. And look what's done happened. Y'all took somebody who was a value, somebody who was loved, somebody who was probably finna do great things in their life. Mm, I hate this shit. Man, like, share, subscribe, comment, man. Chill.